Hi, Royal Life. So I wanted to hop on here real quick um, to go over some spa products that I love using on my family. Um, we've been using these for quite a while now, and um, I just got to thinking this morning, I'm like, I should probably share that with all of you. So if you didn't realize, um, doTERRA does sell more than just oils. They sell, they sell, <laughs> sorry, tripping over my words, I guess. Um, they sell plant-based products. And why that's important to me and my family is because anything that is scented, which is pretty much everything nowadays at your local grocery store, drug store, um, if there is on the back of the bottle scent, that means that they're most likely phthalates or phthalates, however you say that word, which means it's an endocrine disruptor. It can cause male fertility issues, female fertility issues, um, breast tissue in boys, things like that. So for me, it's super important to use plant-based products and I absolutely trust doTERRA's products because there's so much science behind all of it. And not only that, if I have a question about anything ingredient wise, I can just message product support and they will give me all the information I want. So first off, um, I love using this shampoo. So this is the doTERRA um, protecting shampoo. You can use it for um, color treated hair. My mom uses it. I don't personally color my hair, but um, my mom does, several other team members do, and they really love the shampoo. If you are somebody that is struggling with, say, some hair loss, um, I know I really did after pregnancy with my girls, um, you can take a little bit of soap in your, or shampoo in your hand and then put a drop of rosemary in there and massage it into your scalp really, really well. So when you use shampoo, you wanna use it on your scalp mainly. And then I love the smoothing conditioner as well. Um, the sh I don't know if I mentioned this, this smells like wild orange, so good way to wake you up. All right, so then this is the smoothing conditioner and this has rosemary in it. And all I do is work that into my ends. I don't put it up here or anything like that because my hair tends to, if I put conditioner up here, it looks a little greasy. So on my ends, just where they need a little bit of extra love. And then I really love the body wash. So this body wash smells like grapefruit and um, it's super soothing to the skin. <laughs> I just spilled it everywhere. <laughs> um, it's super uh, soothing to the skin and I, I really love it. It says Ener an energizing essential oil infused body wash. So get you smelling all sorts of good without scents or synthetic fragrances. Okay, all essential oil infused products. Next, I wanna talk about the Baby Line. So the Baby Line just came out and it sold out. So they did mention that it would be back out soon. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but I really, really love these products. So before um, I used, I got the baby line, I did use the doTERRA spa products on my kiddos. Um, I liked the Serenity bath bar for my girls, especially in the evening. It just kind of helps calm them down a little bit, um, get them settled for bed. I love, love, love Serenity for nighttime. Um, and then I would just go ahead and use this on them and it worked really well. Their hair, it was great for their hair and everything and then I would add conditioner on Abriella's hair because she had long hair. But I love that we have this baby line. Even though they're not necessarily babies anymore, I love this um, for the gentleness on their skin. So this is like a hair and body wash. Um, I use it, I'm able to use it as a hair and body wash on Brinley still, she still has that fine hair, but Aubriella not so much, it doesn't really get in there as much because it's it's very gentle. And these are clinically proven. On the doTERRA Facebook page, they do have a video discussing all, of, all about the baby line. But I'd say as far as the smell, it doesn't smell like powdery or a bunch of lavender. So if lavender isn't, isn't a smell that you enjoy, um, it doesn't have that smell. It's more, um, I believe like a Roman chamomile. It's very gentle. It smells really, really good after they're done with their bath. And then I like to follow up with this lotion. My girls were, were getting like these little bumps on their skin, on their arms. And I know sometimes that's due to maybe too much bread in their diet. But when I've been using this lotion on their skin, 
that really seems to have cleared it up. So it's really awesome. This also has, let's see, it's got shea butter, coconut oil. Um, it has lavender, vanilla, and Roman chamomile. All calming oils in that. And I'll even use it on myself sometimes. <laughs> Um, but I really, really love those two things. And even though they're not babies, um, I'm gonna continue buying those products because I love the way they smell. I love what it does for their skin. So if you know somebody with a baby in their life, this would be a great thing to get um, for like a baby shower or somebody just had a new baby or if you just had a new baby or if you just wanna use it on your kiddos, great products to get. Sorry for the sunlight there, there we go. Great products. Then we've got the diaper rash cream. Okay, <laughs> so I guess my girls haven't been in diapers for a really long time, but I love this stuff. Why? Because there's so many different uses and there's not all the chemical junk in it that can cause issues. So for example, my husband's been putting it on his poison ivy. <laughs> you can also use elevation and lavender for poison ivy, which he's done some of that, but he'll take just a little bit of this and a little goes a long way. I mean, I'm talking like it's thick stuff. Um, and he'll rub it on his little, po his poison ivy spots. You can also use it under your arms um, to help with the sweat issue. <laughs> um, I have done that, it has worked. And I tell you what, sunscreen. This, and because a little goes a long way, this tube's gonna last me a long time. I used it on my daughter, or both of my daughters, when we went swimming the other day. I forgot to put sunscreen on myself, so I did get like a little bit of a burn. You can't really tell now because I've been using lavender on it. But I got burned, they did not. They look like the sun barely even touched them. So this stuff works really well for sunscreen. So if you have little ones, and you need some homemade sun or some natural sunscreen without all the junk in it, without um, the cancer causing ingredients and things like that, this is for you. All right, so I'll go over a couple other things. I wasn't planning on it going over these things, but I'll just go ahead. Um, something else I like to use for myself is the unscented lotion. So what I'll do with this, obviously it's unscented because scent is bad. What I'll do with this is I'll put, say, I'll put like this all over my body, unscented, just put it everywhere I need it to be. Then I'll take a little bit and put a drop of Balance. Balance is my favorite oil. It's the oil I need every day. So I'll put a drop of that and then I'll rub it in and then rub that all over to customize the aroma, so to speak. So you can do that, that with like balance or serenity or wild orange, whatever oil you're feeling for the day. You just put some lotion in your hand, a drop of oil at the very end, and you're good to go and you're smelling beautiful without all the junk. I do like their body butter. So if you've seen their body butter, um, it is very thick. It smells like orange. Um, but I'll use this for, you know, like the cracked heel area or the rough spots on your skin. Um, that's what I use this for. And I've had this for quite a while. So it came full and I still have quite a few uses for it. As long as Harry doesn't steal it anymore. <laughs> Which is fine, I guess. I guess he can use, I guess he can use the good products too. All right, for my face. So a lot of my acne issues are, are hormonal, which I've come to realize um, just through trial and error. So things I put in my body are super, are super important to, um, to the point where like, if I eat something junky or if, um, you know, like hormonal disruptors, if I'm, if I'm exposing myself to a lot of toxins, I'm going to break out. So two important things for me um, to keep my skin from breaking out are phytoestrogen and clary calm. So if I'm using that clary calm on a daily basis and I'm using that phytoestrogen, which phytoestrogen um, is not like an estrogen that's going to make you 
have too much estrogen in your body. It's going to block out the bad, so there's good and bad estrogen. So it's just gonna bring your body into balance. That's what that does. So we're exposed to bad estrogens in like food and um, you know certain things out in our environment. So if I take that on a regular basis, if I'm really good at that, and I'm using my Clary Calm, I'm pretty good to go, along with the PB Assist. So if my gut's out of whack, my face is gonna be out of whack. Some products that help me though with like, you know, just the oils on my skin. I love, love, love this facial cleanser. So in the evening when I use that, if you have sensitive skin, I'd look at some of the other lines. This is Melaleuca and Peppermint in it. So if you are one that, you know, kind of just gets the little irritation from peppermint for like a half a second, I would probably not use this product. I love it though. It just is very cooling to my skin. Oh, Elaine, how do I use the Clary Calm? So I just put it on my chest, just like right here. Like I'll do down here and across my chest. And then sometimes I'll put it on my pulse points. Does it hurt? <laughs> Um, but that's how, if I use that every day like that, I'm good to go. So I don't even put it like on my acne areas because my issues are hormone related. So then after I'm done with my facial cleanser, I'll use this hydrating cream. I really love this stuff. Um, one of the doctors I work with loves this stuff as well. It's just so moisturizing to your skin, but it doesn't leave it oily. Um, it, it's just really nice and it makes your face feel so, so soft. So those are the two facial products that I recommend. Um, oh yeah, you're welcome, <laughs> Elaine. So that's all I have for you today. Um, I'm hoping to hop on next week just to kind of discuss more about what's in each kit and how you can use each kit because I know there's a lot of you out there that have bought the Home Essentials, the Natural Solutions, and the Aroma Touch Diffuse kit. So I'd like to go over those three. Um, within these next few weeks. So stay tuned for that. If there's anything else you would like for me to discuss, um, just leave a comment and I'll put that on my calendar. Good talking to you guys, bye.